It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, June 15th. I'm James Spann. Hot, muggy weather continues. Scattered showers and storms through Friday, but the weekend looking pretty good as drier air drops in. Little weak upper trough again nearby. The colder air aloft with that will mean showers and storms around today. That was the radar early this morning at 504 Heavy rain falling in parts of Tuscaloosa, Pickens, and Greene counties in West Alabama. And, of course, that means we'll see more of those developing around later today. Can't promise rain for everybody. But a lot of places will see a good downpour today. It is a very muggy morning. Everybody in the 70s, Birmingham at 74, will expect a high, I'd say mid to upper 80s. I think because of the clouds and showers, we'll probably stay in the 80s again today. West of the state, we have heat advisories for Arkansas, East Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, and we're going to be well up in the 90s tomorrow and Friday. In fact, some spots might see upper 90s on one of those days. There's the convective outlook today. Slight risks north of the state, a marginal risk kind of hugging the Alabama-Tennessee line, and then kind of an interesting look tomorrow. There's a marginal risk for parts of the state. A little chunk taken out around Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, but uh, marginal risks for the Tennessee Valley and then again for southeast Alabama. But everybody might see a strong storm tomorrow. If we get up into the mid to upper 90s, the air becomes very unstable. And uh, where storms do form, they could produce a wet microburst, little small areas of strong straight line winds. But we think the storm should be a bit more scattered tomorrow. And this is day three on Friday. Again, there's a marginal risk for about the southern two-thirds of the state from roughly I-20 south. And uh, we'll keep an eye on those developing storms on those very hot, muggy days. And they all produce just tremendous amounts of cloud-to-ground lightning. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning, suggesting heavier totals over the southern half of the state. Uh, maybe two inches in spots, but again, up this way, we'll see a few decent downpours. But of course, the storms are scattered and not everybody gets the good rain. It's just kind of a matter of luck. Tropics for the next 48 hours, the Atlantic Basin expected to be quiet. However, in their five-day outlook, uh, the guys at NHC are watching a little uh, low-pressure area over the Yucatan that might try and get up into the Bay of Campeche. We'll keep an eye on that in modeling. Here we go, the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time at 500 millibars. Big troughs for the Pacific Northwest and up in the northeastern tip of the country. Flat ridging down here, but again, there's a little weakness here. So like yesterday, we'll see showers and storms around, scattered to numerous. Sunshine at times. Uh, the GFS only showing 85 for Birmingham today. The NAM is at 87, so hopefully we can stay under 90 today. Now tomorrow, the showers and storms will be thinning out. Uh, but uh, as the heat levels rise, and again, we can see mid to upper 90s, the air becomes very unstable, and the storms that do form could pack a punch. So just be aware of that. And really the same thing on Friday. Uh, highs well up in the 90s, a front approaching, and summer fronts can trigger some pretty hefty storms. So we'll keep an eye on the radar Friday, but the decent part of the day will likely be dry. And then the front actually moves all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And if this verifies, for us, Saturday should be a very nice day. Sunny and less humid and highs in the upper 80s. And Sunday, beautiful. Sunny, got a 1030 millibar high around Chesapeake Bay. Uh, the GFS is showing only 85 for Birmingham with lows in the 60s. So at this point, the weekend looks good. Check out the precipitable water. Those shades of brown, that is amazingly dry air for summer. Don't get that too often this time of the year. Monday, we stay dry. And again, the GFS only showing upper 80s. And Tuesday, maybe enough moisture comes back for a few isolated showers. Here's Wednesday of next week. Nasty 597 heat back in the desert southwest. They will be just baking there troughing north of the state and again that looks pretty typical for summer maybe a few scattered showers and storms highs around 90 here's the end of the forecast period friday the 24th a little trough coming through here we'd love to see those shades of blue in these upper air maps in summer you don't want to see those upper highs setting in and if that's right there could be a few scattered storms but the heat probably not that bad numbers off the european 
And I think Saturday and Sunday, both days, will probably stay in the 80s. And then next week, temperatures gradually creep back up in the 90s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.